guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, and I'm really excited because today we're going to start a brand new series all about advanced Drupal development. Now this series is going to vary a lot from the last one we did, which was practical Drupal development, and that this series we're going to be covering some, some pretty big topics such as uh, Drupal Commerce, uh, which will allow us to sell products online. We're going to be looking at the location and GMAP modules, which are going to allow us to actually uh, plot locations on a map and show those kind of things, as well as some other really advanced Drupal topics. And in that series, we're going to be building the website that you're looking at now. Now, this is just a mock-up, so all this is is just an image of the website that we're going to be building. So, as you can see at the top here, we just have our menu, we've got some social media links, uh, we had a homepage slider. Some of this stuff you're going to remember that we did in Practical Drupal Development, so we're going to kind of reiterate uh, some of the things that we learned last time, kind of drill those in so that we, we always remember them and they stay fresh. We've got a little uh, call to action section here underneath the slideshow. Um, below that, we've got a little welcome message with an about us section. We've got some featured products here. Now, I'm not actually selling these products. They are not mine, but uh, I'll show you how to add them to the website, uh, how to integrate them with different payment processors, including PayPal. Um, and if you use things like authorize.net, I'll show you kind of how to configure that and then we're going to get to the footer of the site. Um, back at the top here you see that we have the locations tab. That's where we're going to be working with GMAP and we're going to plot as if our business had several different locations all over the world, the United States, however you want to do it. Um, so some of these things were going to be uh, similar to what we did in practical Drupal development but we're going to be diving into a lot more in-depth conversations about some of the bigger modules, some of the modules that are going to help you make money, uh, just make your site stand out a little bit from other sites. We may do a, an exit intent pop-up that flies up onto the screen when, when you try to leave and click out of the website as a a last chance call to action to, to maybe pick up a subscriber, uh, linking into MailChimp, that kind of stuff. We're going to dive into the really advanced topics of Drupal. So I'm really excited about this series. I hope you are too. Um, that's going to do it for this video, but in the next video we're going to just dive right in. So you're going to want to get a an installation of Drupal up and running either on your local host or on a live server. If you don't remember or don't know how to do that, Check out the uh, first episode of Practical Drupal Development, and that'll walk you through it. It's either the first or second, um, because in the next video, we're going to dive in and just get started building. So I will see you guys there, and I hope you're excited for advanced Drupal development. See you guys.